All right, sports fans, so today we want to take a look at Issa and what they should be expecting when school reopens in September. On this day, I now, with Issa being the governing body that deals with sports in high school in Jamaica, I just want to take the time to look at how prepared they need to be for when school reopens or if school reopens in September. Now, September, October is usually a very busy time where sports is concerned in Jamaica as it relates to high school. Now, we're looking at the Manning Cup, we're looking at the Dacasta Cup, we're looking at netball, we're looking at um, various uh, sporting activities, competitive sporting activities that um, usually kicks off in September, October. Now, Further down in the year, in the new year, we're going to be looking at things like cricket. You know, we have basketball, we have badminton, we have a lo loads of sports that um, are governed by ISA. So, not only are we to be worried about school reopening, we still have to be wondering what it is like um, as it relates to ISA coming up with different plans to prepare for the kids. Because at the end of the day, like it or not, sports will always be a way out for a lot of our Jamaican students. I mean, we don't necessarily send our students to school to focus solely on sports, but at the end of the day, that is a career path that a lot of them um, normally take. So, with this whole pandemic or this whole virus thing going on, we are all preparing and wondering what is going to happen when school reopens as it relates to the whole um, classroom setting. But we still have to wonder what it is going to be like where competitive sport, um, sporting activities, um, you know. I am aware that getting um, competitive sports back up and running where high school is concerned, it, probably not go it is probably not going to be an easy task. But at the end of the day, that is what the governing body is there for. They are, they are there to plan and we are the same one that we are talking that we want our kids to be all rounded. So once school reopens, I am thinking that, you know, uh, plans should be put in place to make sure that um, sports can come alive again. I am not advocating for it to come earlier than is possible, but, you know, there needs to be plan um, in the pipeline. And not only that, you know, not only that we're we're starting about the competitive sports is concerned but we have to make sure that the kids are all um, into the idea that you know things are not as they used to be so we're probably going to be a very difficult road going forward the first year after our, our COVID thing um, it's not going to be the same so you know it's going to take a lot of work and I am aware that it's not as easy as it sounds because we have a lot of students that are usually boarding. Not only are they participating in different sporting so it's not only the case of them um, participating. We still have to look at the ones that are boarding. How monitored will they be? Who is going to monitor them to make sure that they are um, behaving in a certain way after school hours? Because we know that when an athlete would finish training and return home then you know the, the parent would be there to make sure that the athlete is being um is being taken care of in such a way that you know they are protecting themselves protecting their future but at the end of the day we know kids when kids are boarding together the one little arm leeway they get then they will go and do something that you probably won't want them to do you know so that is something else but I want to say I am confident in the in ISA, you know, because the president, um, Mr. Keith Wellington, who is also the principal of States, I think, he's somebody that would have worked at a um, school that really excels in sports. So I am thinking that he should have some very good idea or ideas as to how we, we move forward, you know, so while while the, the the educators um where the theoretical aspect is concerned are working on how the classroom setting is going to be i am hoping that the the the, the practical persons where sports is concerned are hard at work it hard at work looking at how 
best they can go about making sure that we have competitive sports again as soon as possible you know because at the end of the day we don't expect covid to be here forever and this is usually a way that a lot of students get um, their way out a lot of them get scholarships to go to different countries to study whether to study or um, to go to college or to um, go to different clubs to train or whatever you know so it is not only about just going back to school but we have to make sure that um, extracurricular activities as soon as it is possible for them to participate we have to make sure that things are, are set in place that you know will accommodate um, part, um, competitive sports now I am thinking that if um, ISA should come up with a list of new rules where where um sports is concerned then things things might work for the first couple of months and and then we would see how best we are able to adjust um going forward because i mean everything is a trial and error we see where um the german bundesliga football they are basically out there it's a trial and error thing just the same the english premier league is coming back la liga is coming back and all of that is going to be trial and error so the good thing is that there's a governing body where, where our um, local sport, um, high school sports is concerned. So now is the time for that um, governing body to step up to make sure that um, they are working, putting their, their shoulder to the wheel, make sure that they are, they are um, coming up with plans that will be beneficial for the kids. Because at the end of the day, you know, all of this is about the children, you know. All of this is about their future, you know. Um, so... You know the ball is basically over in the, in in, in um, Issa's court, so we just we are just here watching and and waiting to see what is going to happen. We haven't gotten much of an update as yet from them. From them, I mean it's early days yet. We are just in in June and school is expected to return in September. So I am hoping that they are there working on plans because once school reopen, you know. Um, on the first two or three weeks runoff then people will start looking and say hey we want some we want some extracurricular activities for the kids you know they are they will be ex expecting all the different extracurricular activities for the kids so we have to make sure that we are planning so as soon as we are called up and to say here what ready for the competitions then we would have already have a um a platform we would have already have something laid out to see where we are going to go so the ball is over and it's a squirt to make sure that plans are um, in place for these children. Sports of the bone, keeping you informed.